My name's Pete Darnley, Founder Director of Schools for Kenya. We've linked together with the wildlife conservation charity Born Free to support schools in Kenya with logistics, equipment like these desks going out later this week, and teaching support. Many children in Africa are denied an education. As a result, this leads to an increased risk of disease, poverty and early mortality rates. A lack of education also means an increase in human wildlife conflicts, resulting in the poaching of many endangered species. These remote areas are situated in key wildlife corridors, and so our aim is to help educate the children of today so that they can work alongside and protect the wildlife of tomorrow. Kenya has identified this challenge and has passed a law entitling every child to eight years of primary education. Unfortunately, the primary schools in these key areas do not have the facilities to enable this to become a reality. This is due to a lack of resources that we in the Western world take for granted. So how can we play our part in helping these communities build a better future for themselves? This is the Olmoti Primary School, situated between the Amboseli National Park and Mount Kilimanjaro. Before being supported by the foundation, Olmoti was a struggling school with only three teachers. The conditions of the classrooms were appalling and the school had no running water, let alone a kitchen. The main challenges facing the school were low enrolment, lack of teachers and the lack of facilities. Over 400 children are in the Olmoti catchment area, yet only a handful make it to school each day. Stories of four or five year old children walking over five kilometres to school each day are not uncommon. Many children turn back because of local wildlife blocking their path. The Amboseli region is supported by the government's food relief programme, but without a proper kitchen and utensils to eat with, children here often go without food for days. So how can we support the community to tackle these challenges? The Born Free Foundation we work with has invested years of time and effort in understanding the local environment and its people. This relationship with the community is invaluable when planning the development of resources and facilities. During our visit in March 2007, we installed sports facilities and refurbished classrooms, as well as delivered vital school materials and equipment. An agreement was signed by the District Commissioner to confirm community support of the school. This directly led to pupil enrolment going up to over 280 as well as three more teachers being employed. Supporters were involved with the planting of trees to provide desperately needed shade. They also instigated the formation of a wildlife club to look after the flora and fauna. In supporting the foundation, you're encouraged to get as hands-on as possible and use your time and your resources to really make a difference. It's the most fantastic feeling that you get if you're helping the children. <laughs> Providing shoes and eating utensils is just a small thing for us, but can really make a life-changing difference. Returning to Almoti in 2008, we began to see the results of our efforts. Dressed in their vibrant clothes, the villagers are celebrating their new school. Today, the school benefits from the installation of new classrooms with hardwood desks, this just happens when... running water from a borehole the entire community can gain from, yeah. two new boarding facilities where a food program is in place, an eco-efficient kitchen, a dining hall which is also used for community meetings, toilets and housing for staff. Rather than discard the wood from the old classrooms, we were surprised and delighted to see the school had used it to create a new nursery wing catering for five to six year olds. Responding to this initiative, we're building two new nursery wings to accommodate a nearby group we heard of, with 60 children who are attempting to learn with just the shelter of a tree for a classroom. 
Ongoing plans include building new playground facilities, two new teachers' houses, larger water tanks, and the introduction of solar power across the school. Together with Born Free and championed by the District Commissioner, Schools for Kenya has helped to develop a programme that supports the work undertaken by the community, with sponsorship in the form of time, experience and money from the UK. Although the supporters of Olmoti have pioneered this approach with some success, we've still got quite a bit of work to do in the dancing department. With enrolment figures on the increase, this is truly one success story. I want to first and foremost to say a big thank you. I uh, so we want to get used to be calling you our friends. So we are here to stay, as uh, your head teacher has told you, and we're very happy to be helping. But the best part for me is to see so many children in school every day, and now I even know some of your names. It's it gives me so much joy to come back and see all the dancing and the singing and the smiles on the faces. So keep that. The first eight years of a child's education is paid for by the Kenyan government. But in order for this not to be wasted, these primary schools must become feeders to further education. The regional centre of Loitoktok, some 70 kilometres away from the Amboseli region, has a thriving secondary school with great computer facilities, a vibrant dining hall and excellent dormitories. Secondary schools like Loitoktok are fee-paying schools beyond the means of many people in the Amboseli region, both in terms of fees and accessibility. Our long-term aim is to think the impossible and build a similar secondary school on land donated by the local Maasai in the Olmoti region. A school that is affordable, accessible and staffed so that these children's dreams can become a reality. After I finish my secondary school, I go to university. After that one, I come and be a radio caster. After finishing school, I go to university. Then I will be in good buildings. So I will be in I'll try my best to be a pilot. I'd like to be such a Running both academic and technical courses, this secondary school will bring together tribes from all over the area. Okay. 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 Loitoktok Secondary School chose to say goodbye to us by planting saplings in our honour. With your help, let's hope these trees will come to symbolise the growing potential of the children of Kenya. Bye.